This is a teaching video of a re original reading, writing, grammar lesson, and it's to instruct and model part of, of the lesson, and it's dealing with the pre-writing activity, and we'll be doing the a fictional story, the vet. The students of this lesson plan are in the job training and professional development program that includes their reading, writing, listening, and communication skills. The students' ages are between 17 and 22, and their language proficiency is between the ages of 8th grade and 12th grade. The reading activities for this class, this is a short fictional story, The Bet, by Antoine Chekhov. It's about a young lawyer and a banker who makes a 15-year bet of $2 million to determine whether capital punishment is more humane than solitary confinement for life. Also, it's about the themes of Loneliness and isolation, power and greed are explored as they relate to the text. The students will write their ideas and feelings concerning the big question, does money buy happiness? And what does it mean to feel alone? Then the students will focus on ideas they will share and how those ideas will be organized and to define the purpose and audience for their writing. Class, as we get ready to write uh, pre-writing exercise, I'm going to suggest that you reread or scan the fictional story, The Bet. You can access the digital copy of The Bet on its website. This is the website here. Everybody has a Chromebook, so everybody can go out there on the website and read this. Or everybody has an email, everybody a PDF copy of the bet. So you can use that to um, review the bet. Okay, class, let's review some text discussion questions from the bet. It will help you to organize your ideas and feelings concerning the big question. Does money buy happiness? What does it mean to feel alone? Okay, the directions for the following questions are to choose the best answer or respond in complete sentences. That will be important when you, you write of your paragraph, you want at least five uh, sentences to answer the question. Does money buy happiness? And what does it mean to feel alone? Part A, which statement best expresses a theme in the story? A. B, C, or D? C, yes. Read and impulsive decisions can lead to a huge consequence. Very good, very good. Let's look at part B. Which paragraph from the short story best supports the answer to part A? Okay. Yes, B. Can you read the story? Paragraph 21. All right. Let's look at part three.
One of five is Berwin. How does the lawyer provoke the banker's decision to place the bet? Yes, D. The lawyer proposed that he will remain in solitary confinement even longer than the banker suggests. Number seven, how does you, the reader, acknowledge of the event in paragraph 22 to 30 reveal the banker and the lawyer's different point of view and develop suspense? That's a good one for you to write about even though that's not going to be a part of the exam uh, your assignment but it's good for you to think about and to work on okay learners to help you to quote or cite the evidence from the bet and to write about your own experience we will review the discussion questions the discussion questions will aid you in writing statements that express the theme in the story, as well as your uh, essay. After this activity, this pre-writing activity, you will begin the writing activity. Oh, our discussion question. The direction. Brainstorm your answer to the following questions in the space provided. Be prepared to share your original ideas in a class discussion. Number one, in the context of the short story, how are both the banker and the lawyer corrupt by greed? Can you think of a contemporary example of someone who has been corrupt by greed? Compare your answer but what happened in the story, cite evidence from this text, your own experience, another literature, art, or history, in your answer. Uh, I suggest that you write your answer in the um, in book, in Word, or either in Google Docs. Number two, in your opinion, can money buy happiness? That's our question. We're talking about why or why not? What is the connection between happiness and money? Our third question is what is your position on the argument between the lawyer and the banker? Which is more humane? Well, another part of our question. Capital punishment or life imprisonment. Cite evidence which means to write evidence from this text, your own experience in other literature, art, or history in your answer. After this activity, class, you will begin to write. Happy writing, Dr. Z.